Hello, I'm Sorospa, bringing you another episode of Gaming Archaeology with Space Station Silicon Valley. So let's get focus back. Um, so this game, uh, let's get right into it and I'll talk a bit about it after we get through the opening cutscene. Man, we need to get a higher quality Earth. Protagonists are really uh, en endearing them themselves to us, aren't they? <laughs> oh god. Robots are secretly just microchips occupying bodies. So, that promising start uh, brings us to uh, the titular space station Silicon Valley. Um, basically, uh, this is uh, basically a lost space station that is a robot zoo. Um, and our mission as uh, Heroes for Hire is to, uh, I, I guess, deal with this, because it's... I don't actually know. Uh, maybe it's going to, like, crash into Earth or something? It's not really clear. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of screwed that up uh, right away, but um, we're introduced pretty early on to the central mechanic behind Space Station Silicon Valley, uh, which is the ability to... Um, to... Come on. There we go. Um, to kind of take over the bodies of these mechanical animals. Um, and so this is kind of the whole, uh, the whole concept behind this game is that, um, you need to make use of the different animals' abilities, um, in order to accomplish your goals. And it starts off pretty simple and gets uh, progressively more uh, in-depth and complex over time, as you do. Um, so our first mission, pretty straightforward. sheep into a pen. Um, so one thing to note is that your, I guess, microchip spider body um, is kind of 
vulnerable. I think that we can actually just knock these sheep out, doesn't matter. Um, so you actually, like, you can get knocked out of the body you're in if it takes too much damage. Um, and at that point you kind of want to get pretty quickly into some other body. Um, because I think you take damage continuously as long as you're outside, uh, outside a, uh, host body, I guess. Um, so yeah, it kind of feels like the whole conceit behind this game was set up just to justify this kind of animal possession mechanic. Um, I don't know. I've heard of worse reasons to set up a weird video game plot. But, um... We're probably not going to see too much of the more complicated stuff early on. Um, this, seems, this is one that might be interesting to do more of. This has actually been kind of on my list uh, as well. A, lo a lot of these games are, um, you know, like my original goal in getting into LP um, is, is kind of to go back uh, and, you know, talk about games that... Um, you know, that I had a personal connection to, and that includes a lot of fairly obscure games. Um, so I guess in a way you could say that you know, gaming archaeology is kind of the most direct way of, uh, of reaching that goal. Um, it's particularly useful... Oh, now I've gone messed up. I can fix this. It's all good. Whoop. Um, but yeah, so a lot of games that have on, been on my on the back burner for a long time, uh, I finally got a chance to kind of put them out there without doing a, doing a huge series on it. Oops. There's probably a more efficient way of doing this, but you know, whatever. Okay, as long as it gets in the pen one way or another. There you go. That totally counts. What are you looking at me like that for? Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game back in the day. Um, it does have its issues, I'll say. Um, some of the some of the levels are kind of a pain to do, but overall, um, it's definitely an interesting and unique concept. Um, a few other games have. Uh, have done this, you could kind of argue that um, the core concept is not entirely dissimilar to like Kirby. Um, I guess the main the main difference is how the mechanics of it are handled, and maybe I should get away because I'm gonna run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> Shit! I may have gotten in over my head here. Still chasing me? Jesus. Taking your body. Um, but yeah, one thing that I always found a little frustrating about Kirby is the fact that it doesn't really put you in situations where you need to use all your different abilities. Um, it's just kind of a free-for-all. I guess I didn't think that one through. Uh, it's just kind of a free-for-all where you can just use mostly whatever ability you want. Um, and to, to, to an extent that works fine, um, but I also kind of like games like this that kind of force you to think a little bit more, um, and kind of force you to use the abilities available to you, I guess in kind of, kind of more of a puzzle-like way. Um, so it's, it definitely, uh, feels different from Kirby in that way. Uh, there is actually kind of an obscure indie title that I think had this same kind of general, like, possession mechanic. I don't remember what it's called, though. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's not, not something that's explored in a lot of games. And there's, there's a lot of different animals in this one. Um, like, each, each world kind of has its own environments with its own some different creatures in it. Alright. <clears throat> so, 
So I think we can race the dog. Not that dog. That dog's dead. Um, should we race the dog? Where's the dog? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we race the dog? Let's do it. Probably not going to do very well. I would like to do more of this just because I kind of want to show off the different animals um, that you can see throughout the game because uh, there's definitely a, a limit to how much we can see how much we can see in the first uh, just the first few levels let's see deactivate the big machine deactivate the electric fence get something soft and fluffy Guessing that's probably gonna be a sheep. Let's see, so I've got engine, I've got I can, I can poke people, I've got my pointy mouse tail, you know, as as mice do. Of course, uh, the mouse doesn't have a jump. Um, so you can see like how uh, how the different animals can be fairly different. Um, well, that was pretty easy. Bump, bump. Um, this one also kind of controls more like a car because it it's on wheels. It uh, you can't just kind of uh, walk in any direction. You kind of like go forward and backwards. What the heck is this thing? All right, so I can't actually remember why we're collecting these. Yes, they're collectibles. Uh, fun fact about this game, 100%ing uh, this game is actually impossible um, due to a itty bit of an oversight. Uh, one of the collectibles, oh, that's, that's weird, so we can kind of, is it just in that area? Um, but yeah, one of the collectibles I believe spawns like either inside the ground or too high to collect. Weird, like the controls change here, but not here. That's hmm. That's weird. I don't know what that's about. Um, I guess it's just uh, the camera is not really. Uh, it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah. So not really sure how. Uh, I guess uh, when you. When you skimp on testing, you have things like, whoop, that's bad, that's pretty bad. Um, so yeah, not all animals can handle water that well. Really, really important note. Um, so, don't just go charging into uh, water willy-nilly. Oh dear. Oh, I just died. Okay. Um. Okay, don't pick a fight with the fox. I think that's a fox. Um. Alright, so. We gotta get another animal, though, because, uh. The mouse is very limited in what it can do. Oh, and we do, do still have to get something soft and fluffy. Maybe we should just skip getting, uh, trying to get a mean looking animal and just go straight for the sheep. Because that's all our goals are, right? I guess. Um. Pfft. 
Yeah, so the, the, the mouse doesn't exactly control the best, I will say that. It doesn't control much better on this weird platform thing that it's got going on. I should just not use the boost at all. It's really not doing anything for me. Uh, okay, let's try that again. And boop, and boop, there we go. Um, so let's go on ahead. That's got water down there, so it's a good thing I didn't go like a, an inch high further ahead. Um, okay, let's zoom. Zoom. Sheeps have no offense, basically. Um, okay, so I kinda, I'm kind of curious what what's up with the uh, foxes, but going after that kind of got me ever so slightly killed. So maybe that wasn't uh, wasn't my smartest idea. Let's say uh, teleporter active, right? I guess it's somewhere else. It's not that teleporter, is it? That looks really not active. Um, don't let me just wander around in circles, game. There it is. Um, I'm gonna stay away from the foxes, because they're mean. Sheep's really slow, though. I wonder how long it'll take for that uh, walk sound effect to get annoying. Oh dear. There we go. Am I supposed to be navigating back up here with the sheep? I don't know. I guess it works. Okay. Uh, wait. Should I not be... Ooh, floaty. I don't know if I should be falling in that water. It looks kind of not good for me. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. It's over there. Some kind of secret. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it. We only have so much time on the clock. Okay, I probably should skip reading the flavor text and go straight for the objectives, huh? Uh, what was it again? Raise the bridge sections, grow some carrots, switch off the electric fence. Okay, sounds pretty straightforward to me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we have to raise the bridge sections. Uh, whoa, that's that's scary. Uh, that guy's got some offense. This is a joust to the death. I lost. Yeah, alright, alright. Let's get right back into it. I got a bone to pick with that ram. Come on, let's do it. I need to get something to use other than this mouse. It's like the most fragile fragile robot I get here. Alright. Let's do this. Shit. 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 I should probably figure out some other plan here. This is not, uh, 
this is not coming together, so. Might be useful to steal a sheep, though, if I can. of the sheep in the in midair is kind of weird. Also the animation on the water is really weird looking. Is that on purpose? Like it looks really off. Bump. Whoa. That's uh that's kind of intense. Alright, have I actually completed Raise the bridge sections, that's not checked off yet. Carrots? Whoa! Do we get some? That's pretty gruesome, man. I can use this, though. Hell yeah! Rocket dog! Alright, we get the point. Truly, what can I not do with a rocket dog? I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> How do you like me now? There's shit. There. Jump and headbutt. Water resistance, okay. Um, but it can't float. Okay. I admit that was a little bit spiteful, but, you know, I had to do what had to be done. I need to turn on a switch. Turn on the... I'm not gonna get nothing out of this. The water looks so weird. Okay, there we go. Um, switch. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Grew some carrots. How weirdly convenient to my goal that the carrots grew into adequately sized platforms. This game's kind of weird. I figure that's probably going to be a little bit of a running theme in this series. I'm going to play some kind of weird games. But, you know, that's, uh, that's the fun of it, right? Uh, let me double check. I'm not paid to remember things for more than five minutes. Actually, you know, that's not technically true. But I'm off the clock, so, you know, it's tough work. Uh, so I have to turn off the electric... Where's the electric fence? Oh, man. See, the foxes are mean. It's not just because I was picking on them earlier. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. No, 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 I'm, I've got no defenses right now. Gotta... 
I gotta get my rocket dog back. Double check. Yeah, all electric fence. Where's the electric fence? Right. What is up with the foxes? Why are they so mean? I demand these an the answer to these questions from science. Ow. Come on. Shit. This is not exactly a dignified fight to the death. Where'd the fox go? Whoa, it turned into like an orange square. Fuck you. Now I have your body. I did not know that uh, the racing foxes were uh, native to Europe. Teleport? Hold on. Huh? I mean, I gotta hand it to him. That is a teleport. Okay. I've gotta pay attention now. There's that. Okay, we're good. That's fine. I really should pay attention to water resistance before I start plunging into water. Um, I'm like, I gotta like just not be paying attention. So you guys are probably like, oh, you've gone by the electric fence like five times already. Um, oh yeah, because I got scared away. I can't jump. Uh, I got scared away from the house by the fox, so that's that's gotta be, uh... Yeah. Platforming on these weird tiny triangle platforms is a little awkward. There we go. Not entirely the best, most thought out, uh... Thing. God dang it! Holy shit! I found the electric fence. What is wrong with these foxes? Uh, well, I think you get the point. Um, so yeah, uh, that's probably good enough for about half, half an hour. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Space Station Silicon Valley. Uh, wait, no, wait, no, no. Let's, uh, it's, it's given us a level in a different environment. This is... This is perfect. So uh, I'm postponing the end. Well, that's convenient. So now we have completely different animals. I'm probably not gonna do get very far into this one because uh, I really was planning to end the episode at around the half hour mark. It's a pretty solid range attack. Yeah. Uh, we're getting return fire. Um, but yeah, so you can see, uh, you know, uh, um, it doesn't just use a handful of animals. You actually get, you know, totally different ones in each environment. So yeah, um, The important lesson of Silicon Valley is to learn the pecking order in the animal <laughs> kingdom. Uh, that's, that's an important detail. But yeah, um, the, the game can play a little unevenly, as you've seen, just because you have really wildly varying abilities. Um, you you kind of have to play a little smart. Uh, if you're a mouse, don't pick a fight with a fox. Uh, if you can shoot rockets from your back, you can pick a fight with whoever you want. That kind of thing. So yeah, that's Silicon Valley. Um, let's see, next up on the docket is... Um, this looks like Mischief Makers, but I'm actually thinking of uh, shuttling Ape Escape up to the top of the list. Because uh, I've actually been really kind of wanting to play that game. Um, so... Up in the air, I might stick with the original list, I might change my mind. Uh, you'll find out when the episode goes up, so... Um, wait eagerly in anticipation of my, uh, my next LP. So, see you then!